One of the questions I like to I like to pose to my students is the patenting question, mm -hmm. and uh, and what I try to get them to think about is this idea that the reason there's patenting is not for the benefit of the company, but for the benefit of us as consumers. That the patents are there for us. Now, and that that seems to catch them off guard. But but the reason there's patents is so that a, a company feels like they can pursue a new idea and create a product from it, and that's where we would benefit. So we see products as a result of patents that we wouldn't see if companies didn't feel like they could protect their interests. They would be probably more conservative in developing new products uh, because if, if they invested in, in a, something new and somebody who didn't invest could then capitalize on that, uh, they wouldn't see uh, any profit from it. And so really I think patenting is, is what drives this country's innovation and new products and we all benefit from that. The key is, is to have patenting that happens so that it doesn't suppress creative work uh, because a certain patent blockades everybody's new ideas. Right. So patents have to be uh, crafted in such a way that they're specific enough uh, so that they don't suppress other creative avenues that could bring us new products. So corn breeding companies will, will do their discovery of the parent lines that don't have these patentable genes. And then once they discover the lines that make better new hybrids, then they'll cross those genes into them. And the reason why is because uh, the, the whole hybrid could be held hostage just because there's patent protection on a single gene uh, that's, that's present in that hybrid. So, so uh, it has uh, had an influence on, on, uh, on the way plant breeding gets done. I think it also has had a, it definitely has had an influence on, on corn breeding. It used to be that public corn breeders made a contribution. They would develop new populations or new families or new lines that could then be used uh, freely by the commercial sector. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. The commercial sector has ramped up their participation in plant breeding and they don't share uh, to the same extent. They use patents to protect genes, but they also uh, can protect uh, the parent varieties because they can identify genetic factors that make them unique. Huh. Is that positive or negative? I think that in the short term, it's probably positive. In the long term, I think we're going to see some consequences in that that uh, I think balance is the key. I think if you have the public sector actively involved in some things, uh, that for, for number one, we will we'll bring more new people into the plant breeding enterprise. And if you don't have active and, and uh, valid plant breeding that's taken place at a place like the University of Nebraska, it's difficult to bring students into those programs. So somehow we're gonna have to create uh, either different partnerships with industry than we currently have in order for us both to play a, a role in, in keeping plant breeding viable and, and active.